What can I say? Um, well, she's my sister. Uh, and I've known her all my life, obviously. And there was always uh, a little bit of sibling rivalry, I suppose. Uh, she thought I was the favourite. And honestly, I always knew she had a bit of a selfish side, but that's as far as it went. I had no idea what she was capable of. And, um, what about you? What are you capable of? Well, I haven't killed anyone, if that's what you mean. I'll remind you that my client has pleaded not guilty on all counts. Yeah, but we all know what she did. And you expect a jury to believe that, do you? Hmm? Why would they? When most of what comes out of your mouth are... lies. <laughs> Excuse me, I am telling the truth. Are you? Uh-huh. Mm. I'm surprised you know the meaning of the word. I mean, it's not as if you haven't done your fair share of lying, is it? Uh, Mr Barrister, I'm not entirely sure where this is going. You stand there claiming it's your sister who systematically lied to everyone when you spent... Sorry, remind me. How long was it living under a false identity? It wasn't like that. So... Well, so sorry, you'll have to remind me. You, you did change your name, didn't you? Called yourself Syra. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't need to bring that up. So you're not denying it? You... You lived a lie. Withheld your true identity from... so-called loved ones. OK, Ethan. And now you expect a jury to believe your testimony as some kind of respected member of society. The truth is, you've ruined people's lives with your own lies. No. You stand there all, all self-righteous. You're nothing but a hypocrite. Stop it. Behind this so-called respectable facade lies a calculating and manipulative liar. I said stop! I don't want to do this anymore. I've had enough. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, well, trust me, that's not how it felt. I'm just trying to give you some idea of what you might have to go through in court. I thought that's what you wanted. But did you have to go there? Or could you not resist? Huh? One last dig at what I did to you and your father. No. No, of course not. Well, it seemed pretty personal to me. Don't you think the defence are going to do their homework? Or that Mina won't just... Tell them everything that she knows. I know. I've got a history. I don't need reminding. The trouble is, Manpreet, that's exactly what's going to happen in court. You said yourself, we have to be ready for whatever they have to throw at you. I just wish you'd warned me. It doesn't work like that. Mina's defence will fire questions at you so fast, you won't... you won't know whether you're coming or going. Do you really think they'll go that far? They'll say anything to try to discredit you, no matter how personal. Yeah. You're right. Come on, then. Let's go again. Round two. <laughs> you sure you're ready for this? There. Somebody's got to stand up to Mina. Might as well be me. Yeah, yeah, you, um, you done really well. I was impressed. Uh, you certainly didn't hold back. <sighs> you don't hate me, then? Oh, of course I don't hate you. That reaction, those emotions came from me. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> but you do owe me a gene tea, a large one. Right, I'm gonna powder my nose and get a grip. Not a word of this to your father, okay? You two okay? You look serious. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hmm. Not from where I'm standing. So why don't you tell me what's going on, huh? I know I shouldn't be coaching her, but she insisted that I give her a taste of what it might actually be like in court. And, and how did it go? Think she could handle it okay? Oh, that's not a good sign. Is she really that bad? In a word. Yeah. 
she was she was shaky, indecisive, and her, her emotions are all over the place. Doesn't that show she cares? To a defence barrister, it shows it shows weakness. All it will take are, are a few hard questions, and I'm scared she's going to break down on the stand. And, and believe me, all that will do is play right into Mina's hands.